Uh, I live in Sweden with my family and there it's sort of, as soon as you learn to walk you get on skis. So I didn't have much choice, I was put and then I, I really loved it from the start. And then just kept on skiing really. Yeah, of course it is. So it's a thing I sort of live for really right now. It's training and skiing and competing. It's, I, can't, I can't name anything that is as fun as this. So really, I haven't really competed. Just last year on Yog, that was the first international race. So all of these big races are mean a lot. You have to sort of just, it's so much, you have to be good strength and it, you have to have good psychologically and you have to be, so everything has to be good to have a good race and you have to push boundaries and see how far you can go really. So that's why I like it. Uh, this race, uh, I don't know actually, I don't know how the competition is going to be. So more I want to do, when I cross the finish line I want to be really, felt, feel like I've done everything I could do in that. So. Be satisfied with my race. <laughs> I think there is a bit of nervousness out and out out there with them all. Um, but they're all in this together, and it is a big competition. I just told them they've got to learn from it and learn from those feelings and the extra nerves and how to cope with them, and ultimately go out there and do their very best. And they're good enough to be here. They've been chosen. You know, we've got fourteen-year-olds to what about 17 so they're a young group but they're hopefully bond together and make relationships and friendships out there that will last them through to the next hopefully main olympic games